najveći problem je možno pačka dijela kolene suhovice. Mi smo primorali da na neki način iznalazimo neku tehnologiju koja na najbezvedniji način može i najuspešniji način može da skida arse iz ovo zemlje. Što smo uspjeli, naravno je trebalo je vremena da se uradi, u kraju je bilo pilotiranje tri godine i u kraju smo se naučili reći da je uspješno je zvijetate i da smo zapravili da se ne bi donacija koja se hvala bude uspješno bude realizovati u ovaj naš projekat. Krajim, aprila se završava projekat ASREM u Srbiji koji je finansirala kolonska vlada i koje su zajedno izvele kolonski institut UNESCO AEG, DITENS, najveći kolonski vodovod, tehnički fakultet u Jelčku i Royal Class Comic firme iz Kolandije. U ovom projektu smo pokušali da dalje razvijemo i testiramo na najnižim lokacijama tehnologiju koju zovemo AEG ADAR. To je tehnologija koja se bazira na sorpcije arsena, na praktično nus produktu industrije za piće, ode za piće u Hladu. Imali smo otvorite za smišno drugo piće računalne na lokaciji vašeg izvorišta 1 u radiovom testiranje. Ako smo u nasilju baš primorani, postavili boli i bilo su bi radio već i već radio na gledanje sence. Na obje lokacije imamo jako dobro rezultate. Arsen je uhonjen do praktično nivoa ispod norme, mnogo ispod ispod norme. Uspud smo također potvrdili da su to ličine otpada koje se generiše jako nisam. Danas ćemo na ovom seminaru probati da te rezultate potvrdili sa javno u regionu. Drago mi je da imamo predstavnike iz svih država koje su u odruženju. A potom ćemo otići i na ustrojenje, tako da možemo i da pogledamo i da se uvjerimo kako je to. Seminar se održava u okviru realizacije projekta ASREM Srbija sa oznakom Eureka, koju zajednički realizujemo sa više nas, sa UNESCO institutom za obrazovanje u oblasti voda, sa najvećim holandskim vodovodom Vitenz, sa Tehnološkim univerzitetom u DER, sa kompanijom Roja Hasponing Big Abe. The uh, workshop we have today uh, is uh, uh, taking part within the uh, seminar uh, ASEM, the international one, and within the implementation of uh, the uh, project we have together uh, with uh, the uh, UNESCO Institute for Waters, the Royal Pasconi, uh, one of the biggest uh, waterworks in uh, uh, the Netherlands, Vitens, uh, and the Technological Institute. Dozvolite da se ovim prilikom zahvalim našim partnerima na izuzetnom zalaganju u projektu i da možemo konstatovati da naše istraživanje u delu prečešćavanja podzemnih voda u Bačkim vinogradima se privelo kraju. Let me also thank you to uh, our partners uh, that uh, helped us uh, uh, implement this project uh, and uh, I would also like to praise uh, ourselves on the research we have done uh, at uh, our pilot project in the area of uh, um, wastewater treatment uh, in Bakhti Village. <laughs> nastavit će daje usavršavanje sobstvene tehnologije u preradnji vode i to u najviše u delu skidanja sena. We have great results so far and that encourage us to continue with further development in water treatment, primarily in our sense of the world. Posebno se zahvaljujem humanitarnoj fondaciji voda, je naš svet iz Holandije, koji su donacijom i strukom doprineli i dali podršku da naše postojenje na bazi ADAR tehnologije daje sve one rezultate koje se od njeni očekivalo. I would especially like to thank the foundation, What is Our World, who supported us in terms of expertise and also funds, especially with providing us the opportunity to use the state-of-the-art other technology. Um, this seminar is in fact the closure of a three years uh, project called ASREM, uh, 
I think, and you will hear this this uh, after, uh, this morning, uh, a successful project. And what we also have to celebrate has, uh, is the opening of uh, the first drinking water treatment plant, which in the world, which applies the other process. And uh, Václav Petrushevsky will tell you all about this this process later this morning. Ono što bih volio da kažem jeste da je ovaj seminar povod za neku vrstu prosnove završetka jednog pilot projekta, tačnije ustrojenja za pričešavanje pijaće vode u bačnim vinogradima gde se koristi moderna tehnologija ADART, to je prvo posvojenje u svetu koje koristi ovu tehnologiju, i takođe da prostavimo završetak tog projekta koji je trajao tri godine, a o uspesima ovog projekta i kasnije tehnologije govorit će gospodin Brajsan Petrušenski. Ok. As Valeria already told, the project is a cooperation between four Dutch parties uh, and these are, of course, TU Delft, Technical University of Delft, uh, UNESCO IHE, Royal Haskogi DHV, and FITENS, together with PUC Subordinate Check, of course. Kao što je gospođa Valerija već rekla, ovaj projekat predstavlja sradnju četiri entiteta, da vam kažemo, iz Holandije. To su Tehnološki univerzitet u Delftu, zatim Nesko institut za vode, Rolika Sloning TV i komunalno preduzeće Vodovod Vitez i naravno našu maći vode i odakva su uvodica. There are, in fact, two unofficial par parties involved. Um, the, these are uh, Water is Our World Foundation and, not to forget, a pit plant, a Belgian drinking water company, who, su who supplied uh, the, the sand coated with iron, which is a, a very important part of the other process. Također bih pomenuo i još dve strane, odnosno učesnike u ovom projektu, koji, možemo reći, nisu zvanični učesnici, to je fondacija What is our world, Voda je naš svet, i također iz Belgije, učesnik koji je obezbedio ono što je važno za ovaj projekat, konkretno za postojenje, a to je pesak, koji smo bili prije slučeni vožći. Uh, I may not forget the, uh, the Dutch government for funding this uh, uh, project during three years. Um, I have only two messages in this presentation. The first one is arsenic is a worldwide problem. And the second one is that arsenic is very poisonous, I already know that, but there is something more to it. Uh, the, the standard for arsenic, <coughs> is it the right standard? I will tell you why I think uh, it should be changed. Um, Imam dve poruke u vezi sa svojom prezentacijom. Prva je da je naravno sem problem u čitavom svetu, a druga je da ono što već znate jeste da je kasnik vrlo opasan, odnosno otrovan, a u vezi sa tim pomenuo bih i neke standarde koje već postoje, a koje bih ja smatrao da treba izmeniti. Here you see a map of the world with uh, red dots in it where arsenic is found in groundwater, but this map is far from complete. The highest concentrations of arsenic are found in Bangladesh, at, uh, concentrations of up to 600 micrograms per liter. 
najviše koncentracija sena su pronađene u Bangladešu, čak koncentracije do 600 mikrograma u litru. But um, let's, let's focus on Europe. In Europe, the highest concentrations are found in this region. Ali da se koncentrišemo na Evropu, najviše koncentracije arsena se upravo nalaze u ovom delu Evrope. Na primjer, u Bačkim vinogradima koncentracija koja je zadalažena je 220 mikrograma po vitru. Uh, elsewhere in the Netherlands, in, in Europe, we have also arsenic in the ground for, for instance, in the Netherlands as well. But there are only a few places where we find concentrations higher than 10 micrograms per liter, which is now the standard for drinking water. Ali postoji samo nekoliko mjesta gdje smo zabeležili koncentraciju veću od standardne, a to je 10 mikrograma po litru. So it looks that if, is, uh, if there is uh, no problem in the Netherlands with arsenic. Tako da uh, se čini da problema sa arsenom uh, nema u Polanti. As I said, uh, the, the WHO has set the standard for arsenic at 10 micrograms per liter. Kao što sam već rekao, Svjetska zdravstvena organizacija je postavila standard za koncentraciju arsena, to je 10 mikrograma po litru. But the standard was based on uh, analytical and treatment possibilities at that time. Međutim, ova granica se zasniva na tadašnjim analizama i tadašnjim kapacitetima, odnosno mogućnostima tretmana. Uh, nowadays we can uh, analyze uh, arsenic uh, much better and in far uh, in very low concentrations. Međutim, danas mnogo uspješnije možemo da tretiramo arsen, tačno da ga uklonimo. Based on health risk, the standard for drinking water should be uh, in fact uh, less than yeah, it says here. 1.3 micrograms per liter. Um, that that would be for the US, uh, for the, for European Union. So based on health risk. Na osnovu analize rizika po zdravlju ljudi za pijaću vodu, ovaj standard bi trebalo da bude mnogo niži nego što je sada, znači manje od 1.3 microgram po litru i to je sada standard za zemlje Europske unije. In, in the Netherlands, we have even higher, uh, higher standard that is uh, more severe, and for us, the standard would be lower than 0.2 micrograms per liter. U Holandi imamo čak i striktnije standarde, kod nas je to manje od 0.2 micrograma per liter. And that means, when we apply this standard, in our company, we will find 30 out of what? Uh, 96 water treatment plants which are above this standard. To znači da u Holandiji 13 od 96 postrojenja za tretman vode je iznad ovog standarda. So in future we have to do something about arsenic as well and we are already in, in cooperation with T, uh, TU Delft, Technical University of Delft, we are working on it. To znači da u budućnosti mi moramo da se pozabavimo problemom arsena i to je nešto što već radimo sa tehničkim univerzitetom u Delftu. There is, uh, however, also a very good message for you. Uh, that is um, the plant, drinking water treatment plant in Baski Vinogradi also uh, already meets the future standards for arsenic at this moment. Ono što je dobro poruka za vas jeste da postojenje za tretman pijeće vode u bačkim vinogradima već sada ispunjava buduće uslove koji će biti obavezni za vas. And with this good message I'd like to give the floor to the next speaker. That is Doris van Haaland.
upravo ovom dobrom porukom želio bi da završi svoje izlaganje i da dam reč gospodici Doris Van Halen, sledećem govorniku. And as an engineer, I really like this graph. It shows that after many years, a, a large part of the population is still exposed to the arsenic. Uh, but more importantly, you can see the population exposed. Some people switch their wells, so they're using the neighbor's wells, which was not contaminated. Deep tube well, which uh, extracts water from a deeper aquifer where there's no arsenic. But then as an engineer, you can see that there's a very small proportion of the pie that is really engineered. Uh, through um, uh, systems, so pipe water systems, uh, surface water, rainwater, and even smaller is the amount of household water treatment. Kao inženjer, ja volim ovakvu vrstu slajdova. Kao što vidite, predstavljen je procenat stanovništva koji je dalje izložen u ticanju arsena. Zatim, procenat stanovništva koji koriste druge punare, odnosno izvore vode, na primjer, blizini, u odnosu na funkcionalnih trešćeni i postoji procenat onih koji sada koriste vodu sa drugih slojeva, odnosno vodonoskih slojeva gde nema arsena, še nije prađen. Međutim, ono što je najbitnije za mene kao inženjera je upravo što sam podražila, to je jedinica za uklanjenje arsena. I think we can do this better, so together with other researchers in Bangladesh, we started to study and uh, this shows the type of filters that were available uh, in Bangladesh. And if I look at it, I don't feel they are attractive technologies to have in your kitchen, and I can imagine that they may not solve the world. Međutim, teli bi smo da postignemo mnogo bolje rezultate, tako da smo radili sa istražiračem u Bangladešu i kao što vidite na ovom slajdu, ovde se nalaze različite vrste filtra koje su tada i tamo bile na spolaganju. Predpostavljam da ovo nisu baš najprilašnje rešenje tretmana vode u umećinstvu. Now we come to subsurface arsenic removal. Subsurface arsenic removal is a technology that treats water at the source. So instead of uh, taking the water with a bucket from the tube well and bringing it to uh, your home for household water treatment, uh, it's treated at the source, source, which uh, prevents arsenic accumulation throughout the village and concentrates it at one location where it was already uh, uh, at the hand pump. Podzivno uklanjenje arsena je tehnologija i način tretmana vode koji se država na samom izvoru vode, umjesto odnošenja vode na primjer u domaćinstvu gdje se vrši dalji tretman. Na taj način koncentracija arsena se zadržava samo na jednom mestu i sprečavanje o širenju na primjer kroz zemlju i dalje na teritoriju na primjer sela, u ovom slučaju u Bangladešu. I na taj način je efikasniji tretman koncentracija arsena. So subsurface arsenic removal. This illustration shows the technology at hand pump scale. I'd like to add that in the Netherlands we use this technology uh, for iron removal at larger scale, so uh, industrialized uh, scale, full scale. Uh, but we wanted to see if it was possible to implement it at hand pump level so that families could have their own unit. And the tank we used was only one cubic meter for, for injection of water. Well, normally people pump up water through the hand pump and part of the water goes in the tank Next to the hand pump. Ovo je tehnologija koju u Holandiji koristimo za uklanjenje gošće iz vode. Mislili smo da bi bilo dobro da pokušamo da upotrebimo ovu tehnologiju za uklanjenje arsena u Bangladešu, konkretno na popišnju pumpu za vodu. Ovo što vidite, ovo je cisterna i rezervoar ne mnogo velikog kapaciteta, oko jednog kubnog metra i voda se, kao što vidite, pumpa na gore prema jednom delu vode. This water contains high iron, dissolved iron concentrations and high arsenic. Ovo voda sadrži visok nivo gorđa, a takođe i visok nivo arsena. So, for the technology, a part of the water was stored in the tank, and in the tank it is aerated, so oxygen is added to the water. And this water is injected, so brought back into the subsurface through the tube well. Kao što vidite, deo vode je prošao proces aeracije, odnosno upacuje se kiselnik, a zatim se taj deo vode upacuje u podzemni sloj. When the water travels through the subsurface, 
the iron that is available on the sand grains is oxidized from iron 2 to iron 3. I'm sorry. Uh, upravo kada voda uh, ide u taj podzemni sloj, uh, onda uh, se uh, gorđe uh, sa uh, filtra, uh, peršini filtra uh, oksidira. This oxidized iron, so iron 3 uh, hydroxides, are good adsorbent bases for arsenic. Uh, Life is found in ADARX technology. So when you start pumping up water, both dissolved iron and arsenic is absorbed, absorbed on those uh, oxidized iron uh, precipitates. Uh, uh, we smo da je ovaj gorđe uh, hidroksid dobar uh, absorbent, uh, odnosno uh, absorbentna baza za uh, arsen uh, u okviru ADAT tehnologije. And the idea is that you can take out more water than you put in, so you get an efficient system where you produce more iron and arsenic free water then you inject in the subsurface. Uh, 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 well as I said in the Netherlands we operate subsurface iron removal. Uh, the majority of the locations are operated by Fitens, which is a uh, nice coincidence. Um, and uh, what we did is we studied at a few locations the precipitation of the iron in the subsurface. I won't present the results, uh, but what it's nice to see in this graph, on the vertical axis you see the iron concentration, and the horizontal axis is V divided by VI, which says something about the time you're pumping, so how much water you pumped up. And it shows the different cycles. The cycle is injection and abstraction. And then during abstraction, you can see in the first cycle, the red dots, uh, the breakthrough of iron, so the iron concentration uh, rises faster than, for example, in cycle 22, where it takes a longer time. So the system gets more efficient and better at removing iron after every time you have injected. Uh, in Holland, uh, we have the acid oil arsena i obično tim postrojenjima upravlja Vitens, što je na neki način i to koincidencija. Kao što možete vidjeti na ovom grafikonu, crvenim značkicama je predstavljen proboj, odnosno brodiranje gvožđa. Kao što vidite, kasnije se sve više smanjuje kako se povećava broj ciklusa, što znači da se koncentracija smanjuje svakom sljedećem ciklusom postrojenja, odnosno da vidite sve bolje rezultate. So, that's good, right? It gets better every time. Well, we wanted to know that not just for iron, but also for arsenic, maybe phosphate, to see what happens. So in this graph, it shows that also the arsenic concentration and the phosphate concentration behave the same as the iron. You can see the concentration goes down after injection and then it comes up again during abstraction. Then it goes down and goes up. Uh, smo vidjeli da imamo rezultata sa upravljenjem uh, vožđa, uh, tada smo da vidimo da li možemo da ostavimo uh, jednake uspešne rezultate uh, za upravljenje uh, arsena i uh, fosfata iz vode. Kao što vidite na grafikonu, koncentracija se smanjuje, uh, sa ubacivanjem uh, uh, vode se povećava, zatim se odmah i smanjuje. And it's not worthy to see that the arsenic concentration at this location in the Netherlands are really, really low. You see that uh, the background concentration is about a 7 or 8, I think, but it's, it's below marginal measurements. So it's not comparable to the situation in Bangladesh or in Sibiu. Kao što vidite na ovoj lokaciji gdje je vršeno ovo istraživanje, odnosno merenje koncentracije arsena je vrlo niska, znači ne može se nikako uporediti sa koncentracijom u Bangladešu na lokaciji koju su ovo istraživali. But it does show that it, the technology has potential. So this is where our, this was our starting point to study if we could also remove arsenic at higher concentrations in uh, Bangladesh. Međutim, svakako nam je ovaj projekat, koji smo ovo testiranje poslužilo, da se pozavljamo time da li možemo isutiti na ovdje da primjerimo za uklenje arsena i u Bangladeš. So we constructed a very small scale installation uh, where we had aeration, uh, filtration for arsenic and iron, which was not part of the technology, but a safety net for the families that were using it, so we were sure they were drinking safe water. And a storage tank, and really in reality, just a storage tank for the aeration would be sufficient for the technology itself. 
And we connected this to the hand pump, uh, as you can see, and we monitored all kinds of water quality parameters and uh, water meters. Uh, kao što vidite na ovom slajdu, um, um, prilično je jednostavno postrojenje, imamo uh, proces aeracije, proces uh, filtracije uh, gvožđa i uh, arsena, uh, takođe imamo i uh, jedan rezervoar koji je direktno povesan uh, na pulpu. Uh, konkretno, uh, dovoljno nam je, uh, nam je bio ovakav rezervoar u kojoj da u realnosti možemo razpredimo čistu i bezbrednu vodu za stanovništvo vam Well, this is us at work between the raining seasons, and this is the technology where you can see uh, the blue, there normally the water comes out of the same <coughs> time, uh, but actually if you didn't have an arsenic removal unit there, it would come out like this, and you have unsafe water, which you pump into uh, the aeration tank, at a certain point you inject the water back into the subsurface, and then you can pump up iron-free, arsenic-free water. Uh, oh yeah, um jedno od jednostavnih postrojenja koje imamo u Bangladešu, kao što vidite voda naravno dolazi direktno iz zemlje u pumpu, ukoliko se i direktno iz zemlje ubacuje u ove rezervoar, kojom definitivno ima koncentracija sena, a ukoliko se zatim ponovo upizgava u podzemne slojeve i vraća kroz pumpu, onda je oslobođena koncentracija sena. So these are the results, first for iron removal, and you can see these are again the, the vertical axis, the iron concentration, horizontal axis, uh, the pump of water, and you can see with every cycle the concentration of iron is lower, so the technology gets more efficient over time. I kao što smo imali slično na jednom od prethodnih slajdova, ovo je uklanjenje gvorđa tokom sukcesivnih ciklusa. Kao što vidite, sa prvojem ciklusa poveća si je ukasnost ovog sistema, odnosno koncentracija gvorđa se sve više smanje. Our hypothesis was that our arsenic would behave the same as the iron concentration, and we didn't see this. This shows the arsenic concentration, and uh, although there's a very small improvement, in general the arsenic removal was not as efficient as the iron removal. Pošto pretpostavke da je uklanjenje arsena slično uklanjenju gvorđa, međutim izgostavilo se da je mnogo manja etikasnost uklanjenja arsena, to je da se ovom vaša drugačija. Of course this is disappointing, and we want to know why, and is it possible to engineer the system in such a way that we do get arsenic removal, for example, higher uh, contact times in the subsurface, bigger volumes to inject, so we're thinking of different ways of improving the system. To je bilo razočaravajuće, tako da smo pokušali da osmislimo tehnologiju koja je bila efikasnija, odnosno da postignemo više nivo vode, količina vode bez arsena. How much time do I have left? I have no idea of time. So I'd like to tell something about competitive absorption and slow reaction kinetics because we think that's the reason why this specific field study didn't show good results for arsenic removal. Arsenic absorption onto the iron oxide coated material on the subsurface is known to be limited by other competing anions. So, for example, phosphate behaves similar to arsenic, but then phosphate is available often in milligrams per liter instead of arsenic, which is micrograms per liter. So, there's a big concentration disadvantage for arsenic in general, which makes removal through absorption more complicated. Naime, absorpcija arsena je ograničena anionima, kada se izražava koncentracija arsena se izražava u mikrogramima po litru i koja je jedan od razloga zbog čega je koncentracija arsena toliko težni problem za ukladnje. So we brought the subsurface to the lab, we did some column studies, very small columns, which could help us to get a quick insight in what's happening in the subsurface, because you can imagine in the subsurface all constituents are always there, and if you want to study one specific constituent, which uh, the interaction of one specific constituent with arsenic, that is just not possible. Da bismo dalje napredili tehnologiju, te podzemni sloj smo podneli u laboratoriju i podneli ga tretnom ispitivanju. Naravno, vrlo je teško vršiti analizu svih činilaca koji u dodiru sa arsenom imaju 
pazite to ponašanje. And what we saw in the lab was uh, uh, that here you can see again on the vertical axis is the concentration, or well, the ratio between the initial concentration and the actual uh, concentration. And on the horizontal axis are the fault volumes. So a similar, uh, again, it's the, the, the pumping time. Um, and uh, yeah, what I want to show here that the iron concentration uh, started coming up after 25 uh, pore volumes. So this correlates more or less with the field, but it's slightly better because the conditions are uh, 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 idyllic in, this, in the columns instead of in the subset. Kao što vidite na ovom slajdu, nivo gožđe se smenjio sa svakim ciklusom, tako da smo uspeli uočili da se bolje ponaša od basena u smislu uplanjenja smenje koncentracije. I da se je uvijek na 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 uvijek could pump up 25 times more water than you had injected. So that's the efficiency of the system. Takođe bih objasnila ono što se javlja na nekoliko slajdova, to je ovaj odnos između količine koja se upumpala i ona koja se provacuje, što znači da ona koja se, ono što na kraju da vidite kao upumpano količine može bude 25 puta veće. Now we are moving to the arsenic removal. Uh, the purpose uh, of this uh, part of the research of the project was to basically try to optimize uh, generation conditions. And we play with different uh, uh, parameters like frequency of regeneration, intensity, filtration rate, uh, regeneration pattern, and even deck washing, uh, uh, say, conditions after the regeneration. uslove regeneracije, tako da smo za potrebe toga uzeli neke parametre kao što je učestvost regeneracije, zatim intenzitet, filtracija tokom regeneracije i na kraju ispiranje nakon regeneracije, to je učestvost ispiranja u filtru. Now you can see one complicated graph that combines many results for the one year and two months. And maybe just to see the green, say, dots, uh, is the acidic after the first filter for absorption and blue are after the second one. And here we play with the different type of conditions and try to optimize the process. Kao što vidite na ovom grafikoru ima mnogo detalje, odnosno mnogo rezultata naših istraživanja nakon perioda prilike godinu i dva meseca. Zeleni i plavi, zeleni na plavu bojem je odražen asim, to je zemljena koncentracija nakon prvog kruga filtracije i smanjena oko druga. But just to say finish, at the end of this part of the research, we could really say optimize system, so you can see that the during the last uh, last two months, the arsenic uh, in the drinking uh, water was uh, really below 10 ppb, and we can moreover play the generation conditions to choose: we want very low, or are we going to accept a bit more arsenic? Kao što vidite, rezultati koje smo dobili odprilike posljednje dva mjeseca su vrlo pravljujući. Nivo arsena se smanjuje, odprilike je ispod deset čestica u milijardi. E sad ostaje pitanje da li želite da se zadržite na tome ili ćete smanjivati i taj stavljati. Sada je next pilot, plant je u vidjeđu Bačke Vinogradi. I tu smo začali na research vid od džuna 2012. Ovdje vidimo postojenje u Bačkim vinogradima koje smo započeli, odnosno čiji je rad započeo u juru 2012. The plant operates without, say, any break from mid June 2012 and end of August we also put in operation the absorptive filters. O postojenju u funkciji od svijetnjeg druga 2012. godine od tada neko veki da krajem augusta smo uvacili i filtre. The pilot capacity is between 5 and 20 kilometers per hour, and it was established uh, with a uh, contribution of foundation, what is our role, in cooperation with the Aqua Delta. Uh, 